Our special guest this week has been selected to represent Australia at the upcoming Tokyo Olympic Games in the women's featherweight taekwondo. She's claimed gold at the 2018 Oceania Championships, the 2016 National Championships, and was handpicked by Australian Taekwondo to train at the High Performance Hub. She's also a proud RMIT student studying a Bachelor of Science in Food Technology and Nutrition and is a Coburgian through and through. <laughs> Represent Olympian debutant Stacey Heimer. Welcome to the program today. Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to get this underway. Oh, so excited to have you on board, Stacey. Now, you began competing in Taekwondo from a very young age at Hall's Taekwondo on Moreland Road. Shout out to them, by the way. Great birthday parties I used to do back in the day. And I could never stomach the food after copping an old-fashioned beating from a lot of the competitors there. So great fond memories, as you can imagine, Stacey. What inspired you to get involved in Taekwondo in the first place? Was it those parties? It probably was. Just the whole running around, you know, going crazy but it was a lot of fun like as a kid you're doing all these activities and I was like right into it and I think that little inner competitiveness would have started back then you know trying to win all those little games and then I just found my love for it it was it was really good for those out there who are unaware or know a little about taekwondo can you give us a summary of the rules and how one is victorious in the sport so we're wearing electronic head guards and electronic chest protectors. And we have sensors on our feet. So we're wearing electronic foot protectors. And so when you go to kick to the head or the body, they register and you score points. And so when you kick to the body, you, you score two points. And when you kick to the head, you score three points. So you have three rounds, three two minute rounds. And whoever has the most points at the end of the third round wins. And you're, you're scoring by body, head, and you can score by a punch. A punch is one point. So it's very tactical, but we're moving in and we're scoring points left, right and centre. But, yeah, that's probably the briefest summary of Taekwondo. You've done yeah. very well to summarise that, Stacey. It does sound like a very technical sport. And how big is your actual arena space that you're able to move around? It's quite small. It's only, um, I don't know the, the exact dimensions of it, but I would say it's probably only about like three, four metres apart and width, like it's an octagon. If you fall out of the ring, then your opponent gets a point to them and you get like a, a warning on you. You've been selected to represent Australia this year at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Congratulations again, Stacey. It's an incredible achievement. Now, tell us about the moment you knew you were going to get selected. How did you celebrate? And tell us some of the perks about being an Australian Olympian. Well, when I first got the news that I was being selected, I was kind of just like in my room, like with my brother. We were like talking about it and he was like so ecstatic. He was like running around the house like a million miles per hour. And I was just sitting there like oh okay <laughs> and then I went and did like washing after it because I was like oh I gotta finish my my chores around the house but I would, it was just like a normal day for me I didn't really think anything of it. I was like oh yep okay cool I've been selected yep this is good and then like straight away I'm getting phone calls from my mom my dad everyone they're going nuts but uh yeah representing Australia is is a really honourable thing. Like, I love it. It's kind of just like something I can always hold on to and, you know, take with me everywhere. Absolutely. Now, tell us about oh, some yeah. of these perks as well. Do you get a pretty good um, kit of clothing? Do you, do you get some cool training gear? Do you have ScoMo's personal number as well? Is that a thing? <laughs> no, I definitely don't. Um, we do get some pretty cool gear. Like, we get tracksuits when we go travelling overseas or to competitions. Um, and even, like, for the games now, like, we, we're, I'm waiting for that whole new tracksuit to come in. But, um, yeah, just all the competitions nationally, internationally, we've always got, like, a, a pretty cool kit to wear. So what does your training schedule look like to the build-up to the Olympics and how confident are you against the international opponents that you'll be versing at the Olympics? Well, I'm confident. I'm confident in myself and what I'm capable of doing, the skills and my whole preparation training. I'm confident in the process that I've been in in the lead-up. 
So we're doing five days a week um, training, about two hour sessions, maybe once or twice a day. And then I have individual sessions where it's just like myself, another person and the, and the coach. And we're just um, talking about tactics. We're talking about the, the game, reading the play, um, just really dissecting it. And then, yeah, then we go into group sessions where we're doing like heaps of bag work, kicking a thousand times or, you know, practicing a certain certain kick. Sounds like a lot of work in the build up to it. Now, can you paint a picture maybe for some of our diehard Australian Taekwondo fans? Do you have a nemesis in the international arena? God, I mean, they're all just like amazing fighters. Like individually, they all got their own styles and they're all good fighters to watch. So I really like the Korean girl. Her name's RM Lee. She's really good. I just love her style. Yeah. So shout out to her. Now we've done some research and we've discovered that you're a big fan of international cuisine, Stacey. Now, have you been to Tokyo previously and are you excited to try some of their weird and wonderful dishes? And do you have any in mind potentially for your diet over there? I'm always open to try new things. Like I'll never say no to anything. Like I remember last time I was there, I got this pancake. It was like a fried pancake, but it had prawns in it. Really, really random. Tasted really good. Like, not going to lie, it was one of the best things there. So, yeah, just whatever comes my way, I'm just, yep, I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll try it. Well, actually, it's it's interesting that we mentioned Weird and Wonderful because Kendra and I have actually done some even further research mm -hmm. and we found this thing called a dragon roll. It's an ill roll, so like the, the electric, well, I don't know if it's an electric ill or not, but it's <laughs> topped with avocado and it's drizzled with sweet sauce. Now, this packs a whopping 570 calories with over 20 grams of fat and then 81 grams of carbs. And if you don't mind, over a thousand milligrams of sodium. So do you think that's a pretty healthy snack before your competition, Stacey? Probably not. I mean, I try after my competition when I don't need to run to a bucket if I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> that went out. No, I don't know. Probably not. It's not, it doesn't yeah. sound the most advertising. And finally, what is the craziest Taekwondo story you have for us, either in the competition or casually? Just like the whole atmosphere of it's really crazy. It's really full on. Like you're walking around and you have to be focused. And then you look at like other other competitors and they're like in their zone. They walk around like angry faces everywhere. <laughs> like it's like, okay, stay away from you. But yeah. <laughs> you get some really really crazy people and you see some people's warm-ups that they're like a bit out there a bit eccentric in their warm-up it's like oh let's see if that style works and then sometimes they go out there and it doesn't and you're like all right I'm not going to take that on board or well, there's weird yelling going on because when you kick like you yell at the same time just to create a bit more um, atmosphere and like be more I don't know power or something into it so some people's like key ups that's what we call them key up and they're really like crazy. Like you'll be getting screams in your ears and you'll be like, oh, like, can you not do that again? Like, yeah, just little things like that. Really good chat. Stacey Heimer, thank you so much for joining us on the Sports Desk today and best of luck in your pursuit for your first ever Olympic gold medal, if you don't mind. <laughs> Enjoy yeah. the experience and we have no doubt you will make Australia proud. You already are making Australia very proud by getting onto the team. Enjoy that dragon sushi and thank you for your time today. <laughs> thank you so much. This has been awesome. And I look forward to that dragon sushi. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> Just eat it after the competition. <laughs> oh,